Well, hello there and good morning to you all. So this now will be my bleach review for chapter five hundred and fifty seven uh titled is Life Has Already Been Set Aside. So uh in this week First, this chapter kind of felt like uh, um, very short. Um, when I start reading, um, I read it, and a couple of minutes then, it was already over, and I what the. But it was a, a, a good chapter and um uh, interesting one um and basically um uh, kubu decided to focus uh solely on the fight between bambieta and komamura and we see through this chapter that the attacks of uh, uh, Bambieta are not uh, uh, connecting because she she understands the basic uh, concept of uh, Komamura's Bankai the concept that the, the Bankai form and the user of the Bankai they have a connection between them and uh, she also understood that if she damaged the huge form of the Bankai, the user of the same was also damaged. So, she understands or she understood the basic concept of Komamura's Bankai. But, she is quite surprised and does not understand why she kept attacking uh, Tengen Mew and he does not he does not go down and Komamura eventually explains that the, the life uh, that Tengen Mew is uh, sold again and the pieces again do not understand this kind of concept uh, but he further explains that the, the Bankai the life of the Bankai was in the armor that sur surrounded him so the moment he cast aside his armor uh, the Bankai cannot be damaged or cannot be destroyed because it's between parentheses already dead so and then uh, she goes and attacks Komamura And the same happens, she does not damage him, but uh, she destroys, with one of her attacks, she destroys the the, uh, the plate that was in Komamura's chest, and we can see the hole where his heart was, and then we have a small image of the, the great-grandfather of Komamura, uh, looking added Komamura's heart into the plate and then Komamura explains that he cannot be killed or he cannot die or cannot be destroyed when he is in human form because and again between parentheses he is already dead even if this is kind of contrasensus because technically he is dead but then he is dead again but he does not become reishi par particles as usual happens with the Shinigami that died and then they go through the reincarnation cycle and so, so on and so forth um, and Komamura also explains that basically 
both is Bankai and apparently his current form are only is existing but not living I think that's the per premise behind the situation with common Warriors powers uh, so that was um, interesting and then we see that uh, Tengen Mio kinda attacks Bambietta I think it's from behind near the end of the chapter so I think this kinda implies that the mobility the agility of uh, Tengen Mio is much more greater than it was before this technique the human metamorphosis technique so um, I like I like the, uh, the chapter and the explanations it was not a, a very prolonged explanation I still was kind of hoping to see more of the backstory of um, the clan of Komamura but maybe we will get some more backstory on them in the future eventually but ugly this is this week chapter so besides the point that the points that I already thought there that were there was not much to talk about because the chapter was it kind of felt like short and well not really much in real happen so but um, I was quite pleased uh, by Kubo doing uh, a chapter most centered in Komamura and Bambietta battle uh, so um, well I think that's all um, really I don't have much more to talk or to discuss um, as predictions for next week uh, well I think that in the list we, we will have uh, I think in the list one more chapter eventually two uh, centered in the battle between uh, uh, Komamura and Babieta because I kind I do feel that uh, this battle could be the first uh, the result of this battle it could be the first uh, major casualty uh, of this war either to the Quincy's side either to the Shinigami side even if uh, in fact Komamura does explains that he cannot be killed when he is in human form uh, it does not explain in, in the sense that let's say that this technique has a timing to be uh, uh, realized and that Komamura continues fighting he cannot defeat Bambieta and the time runs out if the time runs out and if, if that is one of the characteristics of this technique if the time of Komamura runs out during the battle, it's I think that's quite possible that if he does not recover his heart, I think that's quite possible that he end up dying uh, by excess, excessive use of this power or of this technique. Uh, on the other hand, if Komamura in fact uh, is able to destroy Bambietta and to kill her then we will have the first major casualty um, in this war so either way I'm thinking that uh, the result of this battle it will be the first major casualty of this war and uh, it can be either way so um, I'm looking forward to it so I thanks for watching uh, I hope you enjoy this video uh, and stay well peace and see you soon